Now, among, among other important issues that voters in Amarillo are deciding, they will consider whether to install an anti-abortion trafficking ordinance. If Proposition A passes, Amarillo would join other cities in the state in, with the ordinance, including Lubbock, Abilene, and Odessa. ABC 7's Drew Powell has both sides of this debate. Texas already has some of the most extreme abortion laws in the country, and we do not need more government overreach. This is not government overreach. Uh, this is protecting life. Those who are in favor of designating the city of Amarillo as a sanctuary city for the unborn say that there is plenty of misinformation about their cause. I think we need to combat the lies that are going around against Prop A, and I want these babies to have a chance to have birthdays, to be able to live out their destinies. For those who are against Prop A, their side of the argument is that they say that this simply cannot be enforced. Travel bans are unconstitutional. If for some crazy reason this thing does pass, it will get voted, it will get struck down by the Supreme Court. My reason for voting against Proposition A is we've already got it covered with our SB 8 through the state, which does the same thing that Prop A does here in town. If voters approve Prop A, the city of Amarillo would become the 70th city in the country to have such an ordinance. Uh, this ordinance closes up many loopholes in the Texas Heartbeat Act and other state abortion laws. And this is all about protecting life. Totally infringes on your constitutional rights as a citizen of Amarillo. And that's something that I think on both sides of this issue, pro-life, pro-choice, Republican, Democrat, Trump supporter, Harris supporter, that we can come together and say that this is not welcome in our community. I am against Prop A because it would infringe on our First Amendment right to free speech and freedom of association. It also criminalizes care for people who need support during a difficult time. In the end, voters will decide if ultimately Amarillo becomes a city for the unborn or if it is voted down. Reporting from Amarillo, I'm Drew Powell, ABC 7 News.